Howdy friends and welcome to The Average J. Okay, so we have a little problem <laughs> and it's natural in a, a chicken coop. Chicken coops get dusty and as a result that dust especially like you know when it rains and there's humidity in the air and it's damp that dust sticks to things and one of the things that i've noticed is our windows on the coop for ventilation have screens in them and the screens have gotten to a point where i don't think it's letting adequate ventilation in. so what we're going to do today is we're going to clean the coop but we're going to concentrate really on getting all that you know dust and blockage off of those screens we're going to wash the windows too because sometimes i like to peek in on them at night and um it's a little difficult to see in there now because of you know the dust build up on the glass itself so um while we're doing it we're going to do a full coop, uh, full coop clean out and um when i had redone the run i put that branch in there and it seems to be a hindrance nobody's really using it and um, they're not really scratching the dirt underneath of it. So at Michelle's request, I'm gonna go ahead and take that out. I'm gonna do a quick break up, get some of the uh, droppings out of the run. And um, uh, I'm gonna do the windows first so that as the water drips down, it drips into the old uh, straw. And I'm gonna take all that wet old straw out and got a brand new one right here that we're gonna go ahead and put in. Um, and we're also going to go down to one inside feeder and one inside waterer. So, but what I'm going to do, oh, I got to get up and show you, is I'm going to take the small waterer out and we're going to go with um, the larger, I think this is five gallon water. So, um, we're going to put the larger one in and you know they still have two water bowls outside so there's still three water sources in total um but we're going to just make a bigger one inside <laughs> and because i have a trough out here that i feed them every day they're going to get their pellets in that and they're also going to have their um pellets inside but i am taking out i do have two inside currently but i'm only going to put one in there now that the birds are integrated here's the trick for what we're trying to do today <laughs> I am not going to close the birds off from the coop while I'm trying to do this. So I'm probably going to have plenty of company in there. And the reason I'm not going to do that, is, well, there's actually multiple reasons. Number one is because the flocks are integrated, black ostrilorps, I can't get them all outside anyway. Regardless, there's going to be birds in, uh, in the coop with me. Number two is the time of day that it is right now, it's like uh, 12, 30, 1 o'clock, somewhere around there. This is prime laying time for them. I don't want to exclude them from the nesting boxes just in case. Would they most likely go in a nesting box while I'm cleaning? Probably not, but I'm still not going to take that chance. And the last reason is, is if I was to close that door off and one of the big girls was in with the Australurps, or if one of the Australurps got stuck outside, there's no way for escape. You know, escape, <laughs> as uh, Dory likes to say. Escape. I wonder what that means. It's funny. It's spelled just like the word escape. But, um, so we're going to go ahead and give this a try. I think this is the first time I've ever cleaned the coop without uh, changing the door. Michelle's looking over. Just, I'm looking at Artie. <laughs> He's like stretching that uh, lead out. I have no trying idea to get to something. what my dog is doing. Did you show him? Yeah, he's been in the background, oh, I think, the whole time. Yeah. He was barking inside. He's like, I gotta come out. So, anyway, I have all of my tools set up for cleaning. And I know it looks like a lot of different types of rakes, but each one has a purpose. The big green one I use because it, it scoops the manure out of the um, run really good. This metal one. Really is, well. Really well. What did I say? Mrs. Tunat would have your head. You're really good. Uh -huh. <laughs> and the big rake, uh, uh, the smaller rake, um, does really well at getting like the mass of straw out inside. The little rake is good when I'm doing any place inside or out that I can't get the big rakes in. The metal uh, shovel, spade. Sc the spade scrapes off the chicken poop that's inside and the snow shovel is real good for shoveling up all of the um, straw. straw. 
It's a good scooper. It is a good. It's a good scooper, pooper you know? scooper. And then, uh, of course, <laughs> a dustpan and brush to get all the debris. I have my trash can and my uh, Great Value lawn and leaf bags. The reason we use these, they're a, a 39 gallon bag. It's the biggest one that's affordable. You know, like, can you get some that are this size? Yeah, but they cost way more. So we go for the Great Value unscented and it works great. Our trash men must hate us on Wednesdays when it's trash day. Because poop cleaning days. Poop cleaning days. <laughs> um, because there's like six to eight bags of heavy debris. It's usually heavy because of all the stuff in it. And I have the hose because I'm going to use the hose to squirt from the inside out to get those. Sorry, clean. sorry. Oh, okay. To get those They're together. Clean. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> You're and, talking uh, windows. Uh, the only thing I'm missing, Michelle will get this, is um, a bucket um, with some warm water and Dawn dishwashing soap. I said in a previous video, we like to use Dawn when we're cleaning anything with the chickens. It's pretty safe stuff, not real harsh chemicals. But I'm going to clean their two water bowls and I'm going to clean their inside food bowl. I'm going to clean the new water bowl and we're going to use that to clean the actual glass of the windows. I'm not going to use anything like Windex. I know it's ammonia free, but I still don't like using any chemicals. And you know what? It's going to be dirty again in like another week anyway. So, um, but we want to try to get that ventilation. Also, if you notice, I have ventilation on the door and there's one on the side. Those also have some um, dust blocking, uh, so it doesn't get as much ventilation as it should. But, <clears throat> and I know I said this in a previous video, the windows and the ventilation that I have are all above the roosting bars, so that at night, there could be a breeze and there's still ventilation, but it's not a direct flow of air on them, so they're not gonna get super cold. And don't forget the... Oh, and time. yeah, there's one up top, too. I do have a, a vent up there just to let, you know, whatever go up. But that one, actually, I just checked it out, and it's pretty clean. It does have um, quarter, no, half-inch um, garden wire on it covering, so nothing could, like, crawl in a squirrel or whatever and get in. Um, but that's clear. Wow, look at them. They all just want to be in show business, don't they? <laughs> well, when the buff came out, I, I had to go, I had to film it. And this one right here Proof. is Sunshine Spot. We talk about her all the time. The one that is uh, near the ramp. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I'm also going to um, scoop in here and get some of the poop off of the brick and the um, uh, ramp going up in. So, that is what we got we a work cut out for we us. We have our work cut out. We, little, we spent the day at the shore yesterday, but now it's work day. I know, today's <laughs> a work day. So, you know, we just got home from church like uh, 20 minutes ago, 30 minutes ago. Got changed, had to put on the dirty clothes, and uh, it's cold. I have a sweatshirt under here, a t shirt, my overalls, <laughs> um, but and I have a golf windbreaker. So, I'm not going to wear a heavy coat because I don't want to like sweat my butt off, but um, this will keep them because it's breezy today. You know, so, but let's get started. Enjoying a little bit of uh, integration here. Got a couple of Australorps out here with the main ones. There goes uh, Harry. It's scaring them off though. But at least uh, they're getting out here somewhat. One thing that I forgot to say is, a lot of times what I'll do is to keep them distracted. I will just throw in a bunch of. I use Prolly Grubs, uh, Soldier Fly Larva. I don't use mealworms, I use the soldier fly larva. And it usually like attracts them out and, and keeps them occupied for a little bit. Um, I used the last I had yesterday and my new box is coming today. So uh, unfortunately I timed that wrong by one day. So you see where the uh, yellow stakes are. That is going to be the area for the new run, but we kind of have a surprise on how we're going to do it that will be in a video probably in the next week and a half so make sure you come back and see the new run and how we do it michelle of course is on <laughs> dish duty, dish duty <laughs> washing the dishes so like i said she uses the dawn she's going to wash them and then the dawn is over there oh okay yeah. um and then the hose is right here you can rinse them okay. so and then once she's done that we're going to go inside and get to, work. get to work 
the little run is complete. So again, we're not going for perfection. It's a chicken coop, but Michelle closed the door so that they don't come out while it's puddles and puddles and puddles, like especially over there and their dust bath is now a mud puddle. So this should dry in like five to 10 minutes, but you can see, hey, there was brick under all that poop. <laughs> so we did get this part cleaned up. Next step is inside windows. As you can see, Michelle was getting close. Mm -hmm. See how, I mean, I have a uh, half inch um, garden wire over it to keep predators because they might get through a screen, but the screen itself, <clears throat> you can't even see through it. So all we're gonna do is take it on the jet mode. <clears throat> right? And really that's about all it takes. Mm -hmm. But if you look now, now if Michelle gets close, look how you can see how the screen is cleaned out and now you're gonna have better ventilation. Now let's go to the next uh, vent right here. <laughs> so if you see, this is another vent that's in the door once again, same thing. All I'm gonna do is blow that dust off. I don't want to do too much because I don't want a bunch of water in here, but it's enough that all of the vents in the louvers are clear. All right, so now we're going to get this, these two windows. Hello, girls. Hello, Benson. All right, another one. That's that one. And the last one over here. And that's it, you know. Um, now, if you look on top, I do have two other vents up here. I'm gonna give them a quick squirt. Yeah. Oh, that made a huge difference, honey. That was. That made a huge difference. That one up there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so. You know what? I know I said it wasn't really no. in here, but oh. there we go. <laughs> there really wasn't anything blocking the ventilation, but it doesn't hurt to do that anyway. And if you look at all the dust that's on top of the nesting boxes, <laughs> ooh, I, I see like the eggs. finger. Put a put a handprint. Look, six. it's a little dusty. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but that is going to be just from a dustpan. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, but now we're done with the water inside. Now it's time to clean in here. Ew. Ew. Chicken poop. <laughs> Michelle is going to wash the windows, but it doesn't make any sense to wash them if it's just covered, covered in dirt. So <laughs> I'm just going to do a quick rinse. And wash some of that off of there before I go in and put dry straw. We're going to go over here and do the same thing. Now, that has nothing to do with ventilation. That has to do with I can't see my birds in the evening. <laughs> and I don't know if my hose is actually gonna reach over to the side. Oh, yeah. I thought I brought the longest hose I had, and I may not have. Ah, oh, plenty of room. <laughs> And that's it. So now Michelle is going to take the bucket and the washcloth and wash all those windows and then we'll rinse them off. The branch is out. The branch is out and Michelle is working on windows. Isn't that the old saying from like a maid? I don't do windows. Don't do windows. Well, Michelle does. She's really full for service. Chi for chickens I do. For chickens you do. <laughs> Just don't cut yourself. Those metal edges can be sharp. One of Michelle's favorite things is she loves stuff like power washing videos, long cutting videos, because you take all this dirt. lawn, dirt, and whatever, and you get rid of it. So this was like the best job for her is to get the cover to the nesting boxes. Well, but 
the intention yeah. is it's a little cold now but once we hit the spring my intention is to come in here and power wash the entire interior and get rid of all the cobwebs and the dust and it's going to be wet for a couple days but i'll do it like just before i um uh change out the i know it's terrible <laughs> just before i change out the um next thing of straw like in another six to eight weeks so michelle is smart and put a mask on because yes. there's so much dust in here oh, it's so bad. all the australorps are inside i got a couple of uh other birds in here but the australorps are inside benson benson's hiding underneath i think we traumatized him so <laughs> but yeah so michelle is getting all the dust off the nesting boxes Ooh. feels good doesn't it it does she loves that but see that's what i'm talking about that all that dust is what was on the windows that was blocking the ventilation yeah, yeah. you know so that's why i say it's important to keep your coop clean but i mean in all fairness this is a much larger coop than some people have like with just backyard chickens so it's kind of difficult to keep something like this perfectly clean too many times first off it's expensive you know straw ain't cheap <laughs> but michelle's doing a good job getting all the dust and the birds are like thank you very much <laughs> the nursery is closed for business so the nursery side michelle and i decided that even though it has its own little run and that we just cleaned um, we're going to keep this part sectioned off. I cleaned it up, uh, swept it, but there's still some wet spots in there. What I'm going to do is give it a couple weeks. And when I power wash inside, I'm going to power wash that floor real good and get all the residual chicken droppings off the bottom. But <clears throat> I took a spade, there's the spade, and I scraped as much as I could off and then swept it. So it's in pretty good shape, but we want to keep the australorps in the they're big enough that they can stay in the main coop now and like i said because i'm only going to put one food and one water in here this is not giving them uh incentive to go into the nursery anymore so nursery close for business the run is complete bowls washed fresh water scraped all the stuff off of the platforms for the water went ahead and raked it all out got you know quite a bit of chicken doo-doo out of there and we got the branch out so we are getting along pretty good um right now it is about 2 30 so we've been going for about an hour and a half maybe a little over windows are done vents are done run is done baby's run is done nursery is done and michelle is working on getting the remaining uh straw, straw out of the coop you can't even say her I wonder if i can say her now hey. can i say her there she is oh it's all blurry but she's there michelle has done a fantastic job in here <laughs> We went ahead and scraped out where all the stuff is and we got from under the roosting bars. Michelle did. Yay. Wow. <laughs> all the australorps are inside, silly gooses. And um, there we checked all the straw around here. We're not going to replace this right now. We're just going to kind of top load it because we got all the poop out. So once Michelle goes ahead and gets this um, swept up, we're going to go ahead and just put the new straw down. Right, honey? Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I previously mentioned that we put uh, vinyl flooring down over top of metal, and the vinyl flooring is starting to kind of get beat up. So in the spring, we might have to look at uh, making some repairs. <laughs> they love straw. All right, so... Michelle got done cleaning, and the last... Oh, hi, Onyx. Well, it's funny having a Buff Orpington in here with all these uh, Australorps. But um, 
Now we're gonna go ahead and put down the straw. This is the first time we've ever gotten straw from the place we're getting our feed now, Damagers. We always get it from a place called Platts, but I was over there and the straw looked really good. It's very dry, very fluffy. So um, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and put this down. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the uh, ropes holding it. I am gonna use my handy dandy knife. Boop! <laughs> <laughs> this actually came from my church um, on Father's Day, they gave all the fathers um, a really nice little knife. I like this, you know, it folds up real nice and, you know. Very handy. It is handy and it opens up. I've used it a million times. Um, I had my church hat on, Kingsway Baptist. And one thing I want to say, I know this is a chicken video, but I got to say, today's message was fantastic. So it was talking about Jesus and Jesus is the bread of life. And he was born in Bethlehem, which means town of bread or city of bread literally that's how it comes out and i can tell you if i had a piece of bread with butter and honey on it how good it is but unless you taste it yourself you'll never understand just how good it is so with jesus as the bread of life i can tell you how good that is but until you try it yourself um you'll never know but that being said let's go ahead and uh cut these open oh sorry girls didn't mean to scare you <laughs> and pull this out and let's put the knife away before we do this yeah <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and start hello, missy. what's that say hello missy <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and start putting this stuff down on the ground and all i do to put it down i take one clump and Split in half and just start shaking it. This is fantastic, straw Michelle. Awesome. Yeah, I like this. Now I will say I'm not going to replace the straw in the nesting boxes because I checked them all, and it's in really good shape right now. Um, sometimes it gets droppings in there or liquid if an egg breaks. That hasn't happened, and it's in really good shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and spread this out, and we'll come back when it's done. <laughs> so I got the water and the food in. They all went to drink, but you can see we have a nice thick layer of straw. Everything is clean. They're really good about uh, straightening it out the way they want. And I put the food in here. Now, previously, I always kept the food in the garage. But I'm carrying it out from the garage to the coop every day. I have a metal can that they can't get in. So I'm going to go ahead and try leaving. I put a 50-pound bag in there of feed. But everything in general looks good. Like I said, the... Uh, Nursery is closed for business. Michelle, you did a great job. Thank you. <laughs> the Oshlorps are all drinking. They're very thirsty. Benson, my big rooster Benson, one of my uh, buff Worpington scratching over there. And just outside the door, you can see Harriet. <laughs> Harriet's a bully to the Osh to the Oshlorps. <laughs> but uh, Artie's barking his head off. And everything is clean. But the main thing of today was the ventilation for the uh, door, the windows, the screens, and the one over there. So we did a good job on getting the ventilation done. The run is done. Gen in general, it looks good. That is going to do it. We went ahead and got the ventilation all cleared, the um, uh, screens and the windows, so now I can peek in on them spy on them but michelle did a great job oh uh, we both did we're a team we are a team but we are filthy as can be right now we're gonna go inside she'll get a shower i'll get a shower and we'll get ready for church this evening but the run as you can see looks pretty good nice and clean like i said next week or within the next two weeks we're going to do two videos one on extending the run and how we're going to do that big secret and uh, we're also going to tell you about 
the loss of some of our black offshores and what was going on there. So, um, but we really appreciate you hanging out with us this afternoon, taking a little bit of time and uh, have a great day. Do your thumbs up, honey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't say like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> have a great yeah, day. Do it. Yeah. Oh, Marty says, he's, he's saying like and subscribe, like and subscribe. That's what he's saying. I speak dog. All right, we'll talk to you later. Bye.